Hey Foundry owners, got a quick tip for you here. Wanted to run through how to install the latest basket supports from Anvil Brewing. If you've got one of the first edition foundries, you have a ring that came with your brewing system. And because of feedback from customers, Anvil decided that they would do a different solution than the ring. And the new models that are coming out will have this system already installed. But if you have one of the older systems, and you don't really like the ring the way it works, you can upgrade to this particular method of hanging the basket on the vessel. And if you have a ring and you don't have any problem with it, then obviously you don't need to do this. What comes in the kit from Anvil is a couple of brackets, four screws, four washers, and four nuts. And then also a instruction pamphlet, which if you're watching this video, you probably have chucked it anyway. So <laughs> let's get to it. So to do the modification or the upgrade, you're gonna need a drill, a 530 seconds drill bit, or you can go up to 1164 so if you don't have a 530 seconds, but the 530 seconds is what they recommend. You need a screwdriver, a file, in my opinion, and some sandpaper, and a hammer and a center punch. If you don't have the center punch, you can certainly use a nail. And you're also going to need a permanent marker. Now, to do the installation of the brackets on the malt pipe, it's pretty simple to do, really. Um, all you need to do is line up the brackets with the current legs that are on the malt pipe itself. And you want the malt, those brackets to sit just a little bit lower than the feet that are on the malt pipe, just so that they catch on the side and don't have any interference from those feet that are on the already on the malt pipe. And so what you're going to do is you're going to put those on there, mark those with a permanent marker. Now once you mark those, you're going to want to center punch those in the center. And the reason you do that is so that the drill bit doesn't do what's called uh, walking. And walking is just like it sounds. It's when the drill bit goes like wherever it wants to. If you've never drilled on anything that's round, it certainly will go wherever it wants to. So you want to hit it with enough force to just put a little bit of a dimple in it so that the drill bit will kind of self-center in the dimple. And then slower is better when it comes to drilling stainless steel. So you want to drill at the slowest speed your drill can go. Um, drill the holes all the way through and then once you get done with that take it flip it up and you want to clean off all the burrs on the inside and i did that with a file and then i just kind of followed up a little bit of sandpaper just to make sure it was nice and smooth so now you're at the point where you want to install the brackets and the instructions from anvil actually say to put the screws in from the outside and put the nuts on the inside but that leaves quite a bit of a little bit of a nub on the inside of the basket and if you plan on using a bag or are currently using a bag inside of the basket, it's going to catch the bag, possibly tear it. So what I did was I did the opposite of what they said. I actually put the screws in from the inside out and then put the nut and washer on the outside so that it leaves a nice smooth button head screw on the inside of the basket, doesn't catch your bag. And then once you get done, it's going to look something like this. And when you pull the basket up out of the vessel, you're going to be able to set it right on the edge. Um, it does seem very sturdy. With the kettle empty, it, it feels a little bit wobbly, but once you have plenty of, of wort or water in there, I don't think you're going to have any issue at all. The other advantage to using this bracketry is that you can actually see down into your gradations on the inside of the vessel, so you'll be able to tell you know, if you're sparging or whatever, you'll be able to see the level a little bit better. Now be sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be doing some more videos on the foundry in the near future here and you don't want to miss those. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like. We certainly appreciate it. This has been Brian for Short Circuit of Brewers. We'll see you on the next video.